The ball game between Russia and Ukraine is inflaming, but the crowd will note here is the defense giant Russia is now scared of Ukrainians. Yes, you heard it right, Russians are scared. All this is because the Ukraine naval force is testing monstrous tiny suicide drones. The bloodshed between Ukraine and Russia has turned out to be deadly and is extended to hilarious airstrikes using high technology weapons. Priorly vacuum bombs were the deadliest ones, but now all the chatter is around the killer kamikaze drones, also known as suicide drones. The US has consigned hundreds of switchblade drone systems to Ukraine to give a cutthroat counterattack to the Russians. And now to utilize these combat missiles to the fullest, a troop of armed forces is under training to operate those killer suicide drones. Let's take a deeper dive to know more about what are these suicide drones and why is Russia so scared of these tiny airstrike weapons? The US naval force and NATO nations have sent deadly combat weapons to Ukraine to assure that Ukrainians are not falling behind to counterattack Russians. Already 100 Switchblades 300 systems and 10 Switchblade 600 systems are consigned to the Ukraine naval force. These Switchblades are also widely known as kamikaze drones or suicide drones. These small missiles are super powerful and can target and attack Russian tanks and armored vehicles through the installed sensors. Adding killer drones to Ukraine's combat fleet will be an extraordinary addition as it will boost the power of the Ukrainian military. Now, Ukraine will soon be equipped with the great power to fight against thousands of Russian troops, gigantic Russian tanks, rampant shelling and airstrikes. These new deadly drones are now used by both Russians and Ukraine naval forces. However, these are much different from the traditional and older drones. The older drones used to take off launch missiles while in the air and eventually return back to the base. But these conventional tiny drones fly above the battlefield and once the target is set to attack, they automatically turn themselves into explosive missiles. These dreadful drones will be used for dive bombing combat vehicles or groups of soldiers and exploding the target area, creating a huge impact. Suicide drones or kamikaze drones are so small that they can easily fit into a backpack and hence they're easy to carry for any soldier. These missiles are super effective and hilarious, especially in urban or guerrilla gigs. And most importantly, they are easier and cheaper to use. However, the majority of loitering munitions are still human governed. But soon in the near future, these drones can be updated with advanced software which could allow them to pick their own targets. If this upgrade happens sooner or later, autonomous weapons will be so deadly and effective that they can replace human troops in both big and small conflicts. However, it will take years for these crazy updates, but the impact of such small drones will be dreadful. Nevertheless, these suicide drones are sufficient as of now to attack the Russian troops. For now, they are importing the UAVs from the Americans, but Ukraine's navy itself is also on the radar to fabricate the deadliest kamikaze drones. These newly buzzed drones by Ukrainians will be halting at the station for a few hours before they are launched and all set to target and blow up. Anyways, Ukraine's defense system had a massive plan to design the entire new defense world for them by 2035. They are trying to use all the latest technologies and even robots to construct these dreadful small weapons which will have hilarious impacts on the opponents. Nevertheless, with growing tension between Russia and Ukraine, their plans will be a bit delayed to construct all the powerful defense equipment, but once they're ready, it will shock the world. Coming back to what's happening in Ukraine and Russia, small mobile troops of the Ukrainian Navy are already under training. As of now, loitering munitions are at small levels, but as the war between the nations get inflamed, these loitering munitions will shoot up excessively, leading to huge impacts on the target area. However, these will have adverse effects if, in case, those small suicide drones come in the hands of terrorists, agree or not. Before diving deeper to know everything about the US's dreadful tiny drones, which are now used by Ukrainians, make sure you subscribe to our channel to know more about incredible drones and defense equipment that will revolutionize the defense system. Let's take a look at how these dreadful kamikaze drones work. These small suicide drones have the spring-loaded wings that are originally folded up inside the drone and when it's time to release, it amazingly flips out and releases it. The switchblade which is inside the tube is released and it directly hits the target area and horribly crashes it. And because of this interesting feature, these tiny drones are named switchblades. Originally, these switchblades were specially designed to help the US troops respond to the enemy existing in Afghanistan. These switchblades were the feasible option because close air support would take a longer time to arrive 
and are also expensive most of the time. So the US Army came up with this exhilarating invention in the defense world. These newly hyped backpackable drones were inexpensive and at the same time had sensors installed in them which would help them to spot the rival or the target area in significantly a fiery warhead that can attack that target area and destroy it awfully. These can be specially used to attack dug-in positions like rooftops or ridge lines. These suicide drones are also precisely of two types. One is the older and lighter version named Switchblade 300 and the other advanced version is called Switchblade 600. A tiny Switchblade 300 is designed as 2 feet in height and only weighing 2.7 kilograms, which also includes the case and launcher. It is so amazingly designed to make it easy for a soldier to carry one. It also has an expandable UAV that can elevate precision firepower for platoon-sized infantry units. Next is heavier, but with increased efficiency, is this newly constructed Switchblade 600 a couple of years before. It weighs around 23 kilograms, however, the man portable is the same as its ancestor, which can be set at 10 minutes after its launch. Whereas a small-sized Switchblade 300 has an endurance of up to 10 minutes and can be easily controlled within 10 kilometers. Hence this, tiny drone is unsuitable for scouting roles, however, it can be used for long-range targets and assisting the relieving units. When in the air, it can fly for around 40 kilometers in just 20 mere minutes. The Switchblade 600, which is an advanced version, has an incredible dash speed of 115 miles per hour, which is more than what the Switchblade 300 had. This backpackable drone is installed with a color camera and GPS locating which identifies tracks and engages with the correct targets. Interestingly, it can be pre-programmed during a collision course and the best part about this Switchblade 300 is that it has an explosive warhead that is equivalent to a 40mm grenade which can destroy lightweight armed vessels or even human opponents. It has a small electric engine in it and it can rush at a range of 85 knots which makes it difficult to detect or try to intercept the target. And yes, once the missile is launched, it can be waved off and the target can be reassigned, however it cannot be recovered once it is launched. This can also be done with the advanced version of the drone which is the Switchblade 600. However, if the Navy wants to wave off, they need to do it just within the initial launch stretch of 10 seconds of the suicide drone. The updated version of this drone has one amazing part, through the pocket digital data link the Switchblade 600 can fly in the air for a total of about 90 kilometers in case the expansion is needed. The warhead of Switchblade 600 is based on the Javelin 80GM which can neutralize armored vehicles. All the technical facts about these small drones seem so fascinating, right? All these are controlled through a touchscreen tablet-based fire control system. This system can be controlled manually or autonomously and there is no need to worry as the Switchblade is secured with selective availability anti-spoofing module GPS. So how many drones in total are owned by the Ukraine Navy as of now? One of the relatively easy to use combat weapons is the Switchblade and it will be highly effective in attacking Russian ground forces. The United States has planned to send 100 Switchblades 300 systems and other 10 kits of the advanced Switchblades 600 system. The kit of the Switchblade has two main components, namely controlling tablets and 10 drones. This means Ukraine will now have 1000 Switchblade 300 drones and 100 Switchblade 600 drones which are quite sufficient. The massive fleet of tiny drones available in Ukraine will have immense effects on the Russian Navy and there is no surprise if the Russians are scared of these powerful suicide drones. So what are your thoughts on the powerful and deadliest suicide drones? Will Russians be able to give a cutthroat counterattack on Ukraine? Do let us know your views in the comments below. That's all for today. Thanks for watching the video. If you enjoyed it, please like, share, and subscribe to our channel for more such exciting content. See you in the next video.